come on. She's giving that thriller, bro. Like, that's what this song really reminds me of, is thriller. I was going to say it, but I don't know. Motherfucker channel. Today I'm going to react to Diana Ross eating alive at the 13th annual AMA's 1986. Okay. Okay. 13th annual. I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like the AMA's have been going on, or AMA's and VMA's have been going on for like centuries, but literally it only started like What year is this? <laughs> like, where are we? I don't know. But um, I'm really excited about this because it's... Has it, no, it's not been a minute since I've reacted to anything, Diana. Um, I loved that album that I just reacted to. It was so soulful and beautiful. So now we're going to be moving on to the next era. And I'm absolutely ready. Well, let's get into this before I start. Please like, subscribe, and let's go. Okay. I love this blue star going on. Oh, it's not even blue, bitch. Wait. wait. Oh my god, it is blue, but there's other stars. Wig. Whoa, it's Diana. She looks so good. I'm so shook right now. Whoa. I love black women so much, but black women's hair is like, it's just so stunning to me. Like, look at her. Wow. I'm shook. I really like this song, and I actually reacted to the video. And now that I'm hearing it again, because it's been a minute since I've actually heard it. It's so perfect for like Halloween. It kind of sounds like a Halloween like song. Yes, yeah. Ugh. It's like pop, but it's like pop ahead of its time. Like, a couple years ahead of its time. Like a decade ahead of its time. Yes, ma'am. Like, oh my God. Okay. They're just naming all these artists. Johnny Cash. But I don't know. I didn't know half of those people's names. Not even like, I knew like seven of those people's names. Maybe not even seven. Okay, that's a lot of people. Whitney Houston, Queen. Janet, Miss Queen, Latoya, Marlon. Michael, okay, Revy, or, I'm sorry, I don't know, but, <laughs> I'm so loose right now. Okay, I honestly think she just opened the AMAs, and I'm really shook about it. Madonna, yes, Paul McCartney. Prince, okay. Lionel Richie. Smokey Robinson. Okay, I knew she was coming back out. And she got, has a little outfit change. Okay. Diana Ross saved the best for last. Wow, what a legend. What an icon. Come on, choreography. 
Come on. She's giving that thriller, bro. Like, that's what this song really reminds me of, is thriller. I was going to say it, but I don't know. Like, it just has that same kind of, look it, and the same, like, choreography going on. I know Thriller came after this. Did it? Did it? I think. I think Thriller came after this. I don't know what year Thriller was released. But, either way, iconic. Wow. Stunning. I really, really enjoyed this for multiple reasons. And I liked sitting through that. I sat through that whole thing. I know some people think that when I cut in the video, it, they think that I don't watch what I cut, but that that wouldn't even make sense. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. So I see, I sat there and watched all those names be called. There was at least like 50 or 60 names called. I did not know that they had that many people at the AMAs, especially back then. Like, I did not know that. Um, but I'm shook. I'm, I feel like some of those people were actors, actually. Some probably were act Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Not all of them were singers. But that was just so entertaining for me because it was just, like, a glimpse of the past, of, like, how um, the older generation of people, like, fans experienced... Like, that's what they watched. Like, I was just, like, so into it. And they saved Diana Ross for last because she opened the VMAs, which is just so, like, I don't know. Because I really don't think that much into, like, award shows. But besides the VMAs, I love the VMAs so much. But when an artist opens an award show, that means that award show is counting on that artist so much. So much is going into it. It's getting the show hyped. It's like, you know, it's it's just how it is. They usually do like the best artist or not, not the best artist, but like the biggest artist they feel like will get the show going. And that's what they did. So, I love that. I don't know, I just loved it so much. And that song, like I said, it reminded me of, like, Thriller. I don't know. But her vocals, I feel like we never talk about Diana Ross's vocals. Like, a lot of people don't. They, like, underrate her or, like, just don't give her the credit she deserves because she can sing. And when she really wants to, she can go off. Um... And she did hear, like, those live vocals were everything. But I guess it's it, you guys. I know I keep talking and talking, but I guess it's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, motherfucker.